Okay, well, this camera mount is definitely uh, not really working out too well. I kind of need a GoPro, but uh, let's just go for a quick ride. Under the hood is the uh, 4.6 liter bi-turbo V8, 429 horses, 516 foot-pounds of torque. This car does have keyless go, standard for, whoops, standard for model year 13, but we just don't have the uh, button there in the dash. Climate control is set. And uh, we'll start out here in the uh, comfort mode. I just, sorry about the camera mount, but I can't really, without a GoPro, I really don't have a good a good way to mount the camera, so I don't know how much you'll see, or here for that matter. Um, I know a GoPro with an external mic is probably a really good way to go, because I can mount it anywhere, plus I can mic myself and I can mic the engine as well. But this is what I've got, so let's see here. Alright, let's get out this way here. So 516 foot-pounds of torque, uh, take note, that's the same amount of torque that the S600 has. And this has the 7-speed transmission as opposed to the S600, which has the 5-speed. Uh, the now, having recently driven the S600, the S600 is definitely a lot faster than this car. You can definitely feel the difference in power, plus it's smoother with the V12. And the 5-speed is really all it needs. I know the uh, SL65 and now has moved on to the 7-speed, uh, so I'm sure the next S600 will also have the 7-speed. And that'll definitely improve acceleration and efficiency, but with the torque um, and the power delivery of the 600, the 5-speed really is more than adequate. In terms of acceleration, this is probably... I mean, seat of the pants it definitely doesn't feel as fast, especially in the higher RPM compared to the 600. Around town, I feel like it takes a little bit longer for the turbo. Well, actually, the turbos spool a lot sooner in this car, but I think the um, maybe it's just the torque delivery isn't quite as smooth in this car as it is in the 600. But um, it's probably, on paper, it's probably about the same, you know, we're, we're pretty close to it, 0 to 60. But really, I mean, you don't have to be a car person or even someone that pays attention to cars to be able to feel the difference between ABC and Aromatic. And for four grand, uh oh, whoops, it really is a bargain. This road is really nasty, especially with 20 inch wheels, but on this car, it, it just absolutely absorbs everything. Oh, you know what? Let's find some speed bumps. Check out this really tight turning circle. Unbelievable. Keep in mind this car is over 200 inches long. Okay, now we're going to find ourselves some speed bumps here. That's actually probably the best way for the viewers. Look at that, no body roll at all, and we're in comfort mode. That's, now see that Chevy HHR, the way it's just bouncing and going all crazy? Um, this car is perfectly smooth, and uh, I would be able to go over these bumps at, what, what, three, four bounces right there? One bounce. Um, I could achieve a really high speed over these bumps. Now, I, in the perfect world, the police would have this car because with this suspension and this motor, they, they just, they wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to outrun a police car. I mean, even in a Ferrari, in the real world with real roads, um, even a supercar, you know, their suspension wouldn't be able to han handle a lot of the uh, obstacles and defects. But a car like this would be absolutely perfect. Now also on this road, there are some really nasty dips. So with the active body control, all I do is push a button. I can increase the ground clearance of the car so that I don't uh, hit the front spoiler on the ground. That's also good for steep driveways. And... Um, and parking, uh, parking curbs as well, so parking blocks. Now, of course, it would it would have been better if there was a 7 Series or an A8 in front of me, because an HHR, of course, you know, it's a piece of crap, so of course it's going to bounce over the bumps. But that being said, um, this is really composed over the bumps and pretty much anything.
So, of course, instead of increasing the clearance, I'll just go like that. Take it at a slight angle. There we go. So that way I won't risk scraping the front of the car. This also, by the way, is a really great tour of the El Rio uh, neighborhood here in Oxnard. As you can see, uh, I think you might be able to see, I don't know, through the camera, but uh, this neighborhood has no sidewalks. All these houses are super old. I mean, we're probably talking 30s, 40s, 50s here. Um, lots of real, you know, horses probably still in this area. Lots of land. Some of these driveways and, and you know, houses don't even have paved access. So a lot of that is due to the economic situation kind of in this neighborhood. It's not the greatest neighborhood, but I, I like it. I think it's great that a lot of these houses and, and properties have been preserved. Of course, in this case, it's from, due to economics and not really due to um, a passion for the history of the area. But, oh well, it's here and it's nice, and someday I'm sure it'll uh, continue to be preserved. We'll head now back in the other direction. God. I almost got hit by the gas company Cavalier. Okay, no bumps. So. Oh, the other thing I wanted to demonstrate was Distronic. Uh, I'll have to take a look at this video and see if you could actually see anything at all. Um, but I would like to do a Distronic demonstration. I may get a. Uh, a friendly helper uh, to assist in doing another video with Distronic demonstration because I, I don't think this camera is going to cut it. Another Oxnard tradition, not using signals. I could have gone if that truck just used its turn signal. The uh, turbos come on boost on this car just off idle, uh, but they really kind of hit I mean, it kind of feels like it hits a little over 1,500. In the S600, it's more like, you know, 25 to 2,800 RPM. But you've also got a V12 there that uh, already makes, you know, a lot of torque at very low engine speeds. Really impressive, this uh, 4.6 liter V8. More power than the previous 5.5 and uh, better fuel economy, lower exhaust emissions. It's really smooth and quiet. And torque is really great to have, especially 516 foot-pounds. That's one thing that a lot of our competitors haven't really discovered yet, is that, yeah, it's fun to advertise horsepower, but torque is really what makes the car drivable. Now we will be crossing uh, Rose Avenue here. Always have to be quick about crossing, because... Uh, really heavily trafficked area. You just don't even feel any of that. It's completely smooth in every way. Let's go to the back of um, the dealership here. We'll cruise around to Auto Center Drive and then we'll head right back in. That way we can do a little bit of curb. Let me hit the sport button on both the transmission and the suspension. Oh, there we go, yep. Felt the downshift there, keep me in lower gear. And again, I don't know if you're going to see any of this, and I don't know how much it'll mess the camera up, but there's no body roll at all. Oh no, I don't think, I don't think the camera moved. And even in sport mode, um, the ride is still pretty much as smooth as it is in comfort. It's just a little bit more tightly controlled. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's turbo boost for you. braking is just so incredibly smooth and stable. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. I'm going to take a look at the video. I apologize if it's uh, poor quality, but uh, with what I've got, I think it's the best I can do at the moment. So uh, until next time, I'm Barry Rudin. Come visit me. I'll take you for a test drive. We're at 1511 Auto Center Drive, Oxnard, California. I'll even wear my cool uh, sunglasses. So thank you.